Alright, time to do this. There you are. Can pick up a Ferox with an Argent. And that just makes things easy. And so. Oh, Ferox is already in here. Good on you. And oh, get the door up. Okay. Um Alright. Well, I was expecting to have to drag it in here. Hello and welcome back to Skarvig in the Genesis. Uh, a little bit of stuff's going to be out of order here, but I am going to tame a Ferox today. Um, as probably I did in my little intro segment there, I managed to pick up a Ferox with my Argent. I brought it back with the intent of dropping it into a trap, or feeding its melamine and dragging it into the trap via the, the large gate and running out the small gate. But because they, they they can smell the element on you. It's just followed me, and it's hanging around, waiting for me to feed it, and to tame it. Uh, that being said, I've been experimenting with this and failing big time. So I don't know what I need to do, but I'm going to give it a try. Alright. And let's open that door. We want to use the element. Close the door. Because now it gets big and cranky. Oh. Not good. I didn't do it high enough. Looks like I'm going to be building a bigger one. You back to small again? Oh dear. Seven percent. Okay. So it started. Um, I need ceilings. Hey you. Come on. I need ceilings and I need to trap it in there. Come on. In you come. Seven percent. Yeah, very good. Becomes a bit of a useless trap by putting a roof on it, but so be it. Uh, open the door. Are you still seven percent? Oh, you are nice. What? No way. He quite literally jumped out. You gonna come back? He glitched out the roof. Right, come on. Come over to me. Oh, it can't actually fit through the gate. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, where are you going? Don't you attack my woolly rhino. Come back here. No! Okay, you went back to sleep. Come on, follow me again. Alright, you're in. You're closed in. And... Feed you. Is it going to stay in now? Or is it going to clip out the wall?
<sighs> but you clip out that wall. No. Keeps clipping, and it's not good. I think it might be that you have to feed it right in the middle of the room. Because if you feed it and it grows inside a wall, it will clip out of the wall and escape. At least that's my current thinking. Because it doesn't seem to get out when it's in there proper. Come on. How we do it? Uh oh. Random cranky. Come on. Yep, come over to me. There we go. Oh, you didn't grow. Why not? Oh, what was that noise? Two Feroxes? What? That's just weird. They split. That's just about the weirdest thing I've seen. Eighty-six percent. So close. Right, in theory... Oh, it's mine. Very nice. Let's have a look at this little guy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, I finally have my Ferox. Very good. And yeah, um, as we probably saw there... Oh, insulation. Insulation buff? Nice. So it behaves like a, an otter. That's pretty cool. And so yeah, it's got 63% addiction, and obviously if I feed it four element, it will become big. <laughs> Cute little thing. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, I guess, yeah, well, we'll jump back into the K mode, say hello to Helena, get some of my element back. Element, um, hexagons back. So, things that I've learned about taming the Ferox. Um, obviously if you're on a server where you can use flyers, you can use an Argent to pick them up, which is great because you can drop them into a trap. Um, the roof that I have is probably not necessary, but you'd still probably want them three walls high. Um, the main consideration that I've just noticed is that when it grows, when you feed it the element while you're taming, it, if it uh, grows inside a wall, it will clip through the wall and escape. So keep that in mind when you're trapping them. Um, certainly a big thing, but yeah, I was trying to tame them before by feeding them an element, jumping on my Argent, and then taking off. Um, I'd come back down when it would fall over and it would still be at 0%, so it wasn't actually taming, uh, and that seemed to be a real hassle. Um, not so much anymore, and I wonder if it's because I'm not staying on the ground and keeping aggro, which is quite a potential. Uh, the double spawn is a bit weird. Uh, I 
just use commands to kill it and get rid of it because that just seemed odd. I don't know if it's meant to be a thing or not, but uh, to me that seemed like a bit of a bug. At any rate, uh, before I finish off the episode, I guess I should um, give this guy a go. Guy? Was it a guy? Yes, it was a guy. Element required is three. But can I just give the element? We have to actually feed it like you did before. If I can go... There you go. So you actively feed it. Its addiction is growing. Done. Ride! Nice. Oh, there's the super jump. Nice. Come back here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is brutal. What did the sea just do? Okay, picks up a rock and throws it. Nice. Now, I believe they should be able to grab onto a wall. Oh yeah, nice. So you can climb walls, that's pretty cool. Still suffer knockback from the. Yeah. Nice. Right. I think I'm gonna have fun with this. Yeah. Question is, can you just climb up a vertical surface? Well, kinda. Onto the roof. And we'll let that guy settle down and just get smaller. Save my element because it's quite expensive. I don't have a supply of it, so I'm actually using hexagons and buying it through Helena. Alright. Well, as I get back at the top. Now this has certainly been a crazy, crazy thing to do. I'm very happy. It was one of the main things that I liked about this expansion in terms of the, the creatures. Uh, I wanted the Tamar Ferox. Uh, I liked the, the look of them being a little creature that just grows. I think it's quite nice. Um, as far as the mechanics, I mean I've barely used them yet, but at this point I don't mind them. Except for the fact that Element is uh, extremely expensive. At least for me, because I haven't been doing anything that um, allows me to get it. I think from memory, from what I was reading, I could probably go and uh, buy loot crates. Possibly get a tech replicator, and you can get element shards somewhere on here. Don't know where. Maybe someone could actually give me a bit of a heads up around that one. But, um, yeah. This has been Scarvig in the Genesis, and this has been me taming a Ferox with elements. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.